So, this is the first of <clears throat> what I guess is going to be a series of video logs, or vlogs. Uh, I don't really know what I'm going to talk about, but I was kind of inspired to do this after having a really messy conversation with my parents. See, I think that I think that being able to contemplate suicide is a privilege that I'm able to leverage and the way that I choose to leverage it is by using it as a tool to gain perspective on anything that causes me any kind of trouble, I guess. Like, if I wake up and I'm, and I feel bad, or something bad happens to me and I, I feel sadder, if I encounter any kind of suffering, which, albeit is probably pretty minor, relatively speaking, but most people would still say that, well, I'm still suffering. So, I don't, I discount it, but I don't throw it out. So when I think about suicide, I think, what's the worst thing that could happen? Well, I mean, no matter how much I'm suffering, I could always just check out, have an accident shaving to be, to use an analogy, I guess. And when I think about that, the fact that I can consider that as an option, it makes all of the other perceived or real suffering that I endure seem slightly less significant or more insignificant because if I want to I can eliminate all suffering from my life because well I can eliminate my life And obviously, I, I'm not going to do that. But thinking about it is a, something that gives me perspective. And I consider it a privilege because even though I've known people friends that have committed suicide and it's obviously bad and I'm leveraging this really sad and unfortunate thing for my own personal growth that makes it a privilege I guess because I'm leveraging it selfishly I, I guess Thinking about death in general is, I think, a, a revelatory and enlightening experience. And 
I believe that because it's really, you know, among other things, but it's really the the the, the major uh, existential concern that all people have in common. Well, that all life has in common because. You know, maybe they aren't able to perceive it, but, you know, well, any animal that can experience fear is, I'm sure, able to fear death. And so, but then even animals that can't perceive fear or can't consider death or any of these things, uh, death is still a part of their existence, so... Or whatever it's worth that's a commonality but it's probably the most existential one the most frightening one I mean we all have eyes or most of us have eyes and mouths and we talk and things like that but but death is death is the ultimate binding experience that I don't even think is worth talking about or thinking about ironically because it's not for the living because life has nothing to do with death death is separate from life in a way <laughs>